Bible reading for today is Proverbs 11 to Proverbs 14. I'm going to read it for you. Whoever works his land will have plenty of bread, but he who follows worthless pursuits lacks sense. Whoever is wicked covets the spoils of evil doers, but the root of the righteous bears fruit. An evil man is ensnared by the transgression of his lips, but the righteous escapes from trouble. Verse 14. From the fruit of his mouth a man is satisfied with good, and the work of a man's hand comes back to him. Okay, so I see here there is two parts that we need to pay attention to, <clears throat> and that is that which we speak and that which we do with our hands. Now, I find that there always needs to be a, a positive confession from our side in believing and trusting in the Word of God, but there is also a doing because the Bible says faith without works is dead. But I want to add this, is that the works cannot be there if you do not believe correctly. So pay particular attention to what it is you speak because your hands will not find anything to do if you don't first speak it out of your mouth because your mouth has creative power in sight of, in light of the kingdom of the Lord and with his righteousness because the Bible says that the root of the righteous bears brings life and it bears much fruit so if you believe right if you are counted righteous through your faith in Jesus Christ then it will affect your speech and it will also change your life to the point where what you do with your physical hands will also be blessed. And I want to tell you that <clears throat> if you're struggling right now, pay particular attention to what it is that you say every day. Let not un any unwholesome word proceed from your mouth. I know this is the hardest thing to do because you might be saved, but you still have the mindset of an unrighteous person. You still have, you still speak death, you still speak it's destruction, you still, still speak negativity. But the word of the Lord is powerful. <clears throat> Just one revelation from the Lord can change your life entirely. And that is what I want to say. Is if you want to pick up momentum in your life and start bearing fruit, your mouth is the place that you're going to start doing it. You will never be without a job or without an income, or without any sort of outcome in this economy, if your speech lines up with the Word of God, and the confession that you make is born out of faith in the Word of God, and what He has revealed to you. Even in the worst of circumstances, the Lord is always faithful, and He, ca he cannot lie. That means, no matter how hard it seems, right now, no matter how difficult your circumstances m might be, no matter how many people are against you, let this one thing bless you today, and that is the Word of God, let it not depart from your mouth, and meditate on it day and night. Bless you guys, have a wonderful day, until we talk again.